الحمد لله نحمد ونستعين ونستغفر ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهدي الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها فإن كل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار Greet you all with the greeting of Islam Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh I'd like to welcome you for our new Uh, segment or our new course 55 hadith on Islamic behavior and discipline and this morning inshallah we work in hadith number four in page number four and Abdullah on the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam called in the Sidqa yahdi ila al bir wa in al bir yahdi ila al jannah وإن الرجل لا يصدق حتى يكون صديقا وإن الكذب يهدي إلى الفجور وإن الفجور يهدي إلى النار وإن الرجل لا يكذب حتى يكتب عند الله كذبا رواه البخاري رحمة الله عليه. A man keeps on telling the truth until he becomes a truthful person. Falsehood, falsehood leads to alfuju, which is wickedness and evil doing, and alfuju leads to hellfire. And a man may keep on telling lies till he is written before Allah as a liar. Al Bukhari. Continue. Lessons. Oh, oh. The lessons learned. One must strive to observe telling the truth in all matters. Truthfulness is the, is the mainstay of personal communication and business transaction in Islam. Truthfulness is the way of Jannah. Truthfulness also includes being sincere in faith and worship. Telling lies is a type of falsehood and a very dangerous sin that could lead to other types of wrongdoing. The worst type of spreading falsehood is spreading lies and untruths about Allah and His Messenger. In this chapter, number four, the title talks about truthfulness. To be honest, to be truthful, what you're saying, what you're doing, how you communicate with people, And the Prophet وسلم, showing us that our behavior leads to something else. If a person being truthful, he will hear and see and sit with the truthful ones. And if he is a liar, this lying is going to lead to worse sinner. So is the tr truthfulness or being a lion like a seed. When you plant the seed, it grows, and more result to coming out of, out of these seeds. More leaves, <coughs> more branches, more fruit, alhamdulillah, okay? <laughs> so here the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam telling us, alaykum bisidq, 
So that means for you to do, to exert energy that you be always truthful about yourself, about what you're saying, how you're communicating with the people. This is something from the akhlaq and the behavior and the discipline of the believers that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves those people who are truthful when you do or being given obligation that you do the best that you can about it. If you've been trusted with something, you do the best of keeping and guarding this trust. So truthfulness in saying and in action. The result of this, that the person will be recorded with Allah as a truthful person. A truthful person will be among the people of Jannah. And also the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam encouraging us and warning <coughs> us against lying. Against lying. Because a person who starts with one lie became two lies. Now he gets into the habit of lying. And as a result of this, he will be recorded with Allah as a liar. So you can see that the more that you add a lie, it comes about another lie and another lie. And in the end of the result, you're going to be recorded with Allah to be a crooked person. And I'm sure nobody would like to be with a bad racket with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he's telling us that this brings about sin and haram. And this will lead to what? is going to lead to hellfire. So the same thing of truthfulness is going to make you hear truthfulness and make you sit with the company of the truth people because the people will come, okay, matching with you. And the same way when you lie, the people who are going to sit and be around you is going to be a liar, okay? And the result is what? Yahdi ilan nar, it will take the person to hell fire. And the worst kind of lying that people assuming things that is from the deen, but is not from the deen. He may be learned from a culture or from majority of people they doing it, and he assumes that this. And after this, he say, Allah said, or the Prophet وسلم, said, this is the worst kind of lying. Because that means you saying Allah said and Allah didn't say. He saying the Prophet did and the Prophet didn't do. Okay? As a result of this, the person will, as the Prophet وسلم, he said, let him have a seat in hell fire. Whosoever lies again is the Prophet because this is addition to the deen. You're making the people believe that this is part of the ibadah of Allah and is not part of the ibadah of Allah. So we learn from this hadith, insha'Allah, means to Jannah is truthfulness and means of hellfire to be a crooked and to be a liar. And we see that when we plant a seed, it brings the result according what did you do. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us away from all bad saying and action. Amen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us among the truthful person Amen. when they say or when they do something. Subhanakallahum wa bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illa ant. Nastaghfiraka wa natubu ilayk. And Allah knows best. Wa iyyak. Wa fika barak. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Is that a Okay. No, this is for the student. I know, so quick this morning. Hello, Kuzir, mashallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. How are you? You back? No, it's not a back. You know back here? No back. She got it. No tobacco. Oh, you you? Oh, yeah. This young boy here? Oh, yeah. How did it? How did this it? is a... Let me pick him up. Let's have a great day. He deal with the big boy today. Oh, big, oh, big, big boy. Big boy. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not messing with him. Just run back here to Colombia quick. Huh?
No. Last night. You going over? <laughs> yes, of course. I have a lot of business, man. Not a lot of business, but I have. Who took the? Uh, it's not a who took the carrier for the brother? Who's broken? Yeah, it's not a brother. Hmm. Bam, Ahmed. You okay?